Well, hello there, YouTube, and welcome to Sunday, February the uh, 20th. It's 42 degrees out here. It's been pretty much raining all day long. Well, the wind's been blowing and carrying on, and uh, all of a sudden the sun came out, and I told Kelly, I said, what the heck, so at the end of the day, it's like uh, 5.25, I think. Yeah, we got like 20 minutes of daylight, and... um. Kelly goes, well, yeah, the wind's dried everything up. She goes, maybe you can go for a ride. I said, Kelly, it's the end of the day. So we're just going to take my neighborhood loop. Probably freeze my butt off because I don't have enough gear on. But I did put my uh, first gear coat on. I was just going to come out here and talk motorcycle stuff to you guys. So a ride's going to happen instead with the old DR. <laughs> so I go to roll the thing out. And I'm going, what the heck? It's like really stiff. I'm going, man, something's dragging. Yeah, the front tire had four pounds in it. The rear had 14. <laughs> See here a little bit. Well, let's, let's try to pull this thing off. I got my other gloves in case my hands get cold. Hot dang. Man, how about this? Even the highway is dry. Man, it's amazing. How the wind can clear out the wetness, boy. And look at this. Uh, there's some clouds. Gonna, it's, it's, we're still like 87% chance of rain right now. Chance of snow in the morning. No real accumulation. But, uh, yeah, it could happen. Oh, yeah, it's starting to sprinkle on me now. It's the edge of the cloud thing. It's coming over there. I don't know where that's coming. Isn't it funny how the rain just seems to fall out of the clear blue nowhere? But we're going to lose the sun too, dadgummit. Because that's the uh, probably the next front that's coming in. I'm heading right for it. And it's about the, the sun's about to slip behind that cloud. Or the layer of clouds. That's a wall. That's the next front coming but yeah, it's sprinkling now, so that's crazy. Blue skies ahead of me, and I'm getting hit with little sprinkles of rain. It's crazy. It's gonna be some house building right there. She ain't a cow field no more. There's all trees over up front. You can hardly even tell there was a field back there before. Selling that land and putting up houses everywhere. Yeah, before I got down the, or mostly down the hill here, the uh, sun already slipped behind those clouds. I don't see any break in the clouds that uh, that it might, might pop back out. The clouds would have to stop and turn around. I thought we'd just take a little neighborhood loop here. How about that? Drag you guys along. I don't even know how long. I think I talked about it in the video once, how long it's been since I rode the DR. Man, preparation is everything. And not going out there and short running them. It still amazes me how many people walk go out there they'll even advertise it. Bike's in great shape. It's started up once a week. Like, oh, no. Yeah, run from that. If they advertise that, run. She's, uh, because that bike is done. You run them once a week, you need to ride them once a week. You guys know the drill. Now, if it's like a single cylinder, you know, something small, 250, somewhere around there, it don't take nothing for that thing to heat up. Probably go two or three miles on that thing and probably a little more than that I, I would go more than that just to make sure all condensation is gone well that barn's looking good out there today i don't think i've even taken this loop this year have i i might have cali working on her projects i've been doing little little personal projects in my own Goofing around, sorting some things out. Life stuff, you know. Nothing stressful, all fun. All really fun. 
one of the things I was doing, you know, that uh, Streamlight TLR 7 sub. Can't believe not one of you mentioned this in the video. But when I was showing that light, when I uh, I didn't notice it until you know, you get all excited because I actually opened the package right there with you guys standing there. I didn't even open it up. And uh, anyway, I noticed when I was editing the. Uh, well, look, they came through here and swept this thing. Somewhat. It doesn't have the heavy gravel. Look at that out there. Maybe we can gain enough elevation we can bring the sun back to us. I don't think we're going that high, though. Almost. But anyway, there was uh, the rear plate on it. On one corner, you could see a gap. It wasn't perfectly sealed. Well, as it turns out, it was perfectly sealed, but there was like a plastic mold burr that was just holding that corner just ever so gapped but it's got a nice thick seal man the way the buttons are waterproofed and and streamlight they don't mess around Olight's the same way I'm a huge fan of Olight stuff and uh, I love that thing for the for the Hellcat but I don't have any holsters that fit it or nothing, you know. And I can't find one for the Hellcat and the, uh, and that, uh, Baldar, Baldar, whatever it's called. I love that light, though. That thing's built like a brick poop house, man. Really nice. So is the Streamlight, don't, both of those two, really, really nice. But I got several Olight stuff. I got a bunch of Streamlight stuff, too. But Olight. Uh, um, ink pen that I use is my work pen. It's a it's black anodized, but it's a billet bodied ink pen. And uh, on the top half of it, it has a battery and a little light, a light that goes quite bright. I might add you. And I would imagine the battery inside that thing, size wise, has got to be like a. I don't know if a AAA would fit in that or not, but I don't know. Uh, I'm not taking it apart to see what kind of uh, a lithium cell they have in there, but it can't be very big. But I've accidentally turned that thing on in my pocket a couple of times, fumbling around. And, uh, man, a long time later, I go, oh, no, it's on, because I feel the heat from the LED. And uh, it's like, good Lord, that thing's going to be sacked out. So you pull it apart. And it's actually kind of cool. It has uh, such a low beam that it's good for like camping and stuff. And I think it lasts, I don't know how many hours on that low beam, a long time. So uh, it's set up so that you can take the light part off and just set it aside. And the ink pen still works. But when you pull it apart, inside is a USB-C uh, charge port. But even when I've accidentally left that thing on, of course, when I accidentally turned it on, it's the single press that puts it in the lowest mode. So I'd have to leave it on all day to probably have any burn down on it. But uh, I'll plug it in and she charges up like real fast. Next thing you know, done. She's charged. Love that thing. And I bought like a, it came with a, a couple um, uh, uh, ink cartridges and uh, I think I've gone through a couple look at that the old farmers down there they got something going on I drive right through the water God forbid you get your uh, dual sport all wet right but it's it's so clean I don't want to get it dirty bye sunset it's still up it's just that next storm coming from the coast is She's a rolling on in. You can see where the highway used to go straight out. You know, on the back side where that cemetery is I've taken you guys. That road went straight across. I'm not sure how that little... Because the houses down there are old. So I'm not sure how it spun off and went down the hill. But um, I think this may be new and that old road got abandoned. I, I don't know. You can look into archives and see how roads used to go. Always oh, amazed how well this DR goes. 
and she is bone stock. I did a couple of things to knock the uh, factory leanness out of it. And uh, that's it. Very, very minor changes. Like it was a, a matter of shimming the stock non-adjustable needle and the fuel screw. That's it. And this thing rails. She flat rolls. You got a crazy top speed on it though, but we won't talk about that. For a big old single man, she flat hauls the mail. Well, they got stuff stored in there now. That's crazy. Pushing that thing along and I'm going, oh man. I flushed the fluids on this thing towards the end of the year last year. I can't have any dragging brakes. I'll look down that front, that front tire looked flat. Those yellow labs are out there running around. Beautiful evening. Uh, dang, I ended up getting a ride in anyway. I was just jonesing for a ride. And then it's so windy. And you know, look at this, now the wind stops. Well, I guess it's blowing a little bit, but I mean, it was... The old chimes were uh, carrying on, and it was, uh, it was quite windy out there. But boy, that... That helps dry it out really quick out here. Come on, get them. Come on now. There's a second one. There's a third one somewhere. I think that's the older one that's over. Oh, I, oh, it was a bush. Thought I seen it in the front yard. The old cloud's got Mount St. Helens completely hidden, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. There ain't no chance you can see Mount Rainier today. sets across that field right there. Lord have mercy. Have ever taken you guys straight across? It just goes up to a turnaround up there. Oh, I thought my helmet was being exceptionally loud. Let's go rip across here and go up the hill. Yeah, add a little bit to it. Doesn't take me long to get around that little neighborhood loop. Oh, dampness over here. Oh, we got dogs coming. Lots and lots of dogs. Oh, look at that. Oh, look how big of a yard they got to run in. <laughs> oh, go, Fido. Go, man. Oh. That pit bull just about lost it going across that creek. <laughs> he was flat getting it. He said I had momentum on my side. I wouldn't worry about clearing it. He almost lost his footing though, didn't he? Poor old gal. Or guy. I think it was a gal. I can't tell. Or I didn't see anything, so I'm assuming. <laughs> Just think how beautiful this would be back here with the sunset casting across in the fields. Man, I did not know this was going to happen at all. And I just had to sing about it. I wanted to go for a ride today. It pretty much ends right here. It goes up there and there's a turnaround, but I think last time I went up there, a dog came out there barking at me. <laughs> I wonder how many people come up here and the people live here. Why? Can't you see the dead end road when you turned in? Yeah, I seen it. And I know it's there. I'm just taking my motorcycle for a ride. The old DR says, ride me more, son. It's about 43. Maybe my thermometer was at 42.8 or something. You never know. Get trouble going through here.
here too fast. Can't explain why. Oh, they got a nice big ol' area to roam around. down the oh my lord them dogs can go all the way to that corner I'm like I heard a dog barking it was one of those big old white fluffies look at this no sunset oh there's rain in them clouds right there the little gap between the little clouds and the big clouds yeah buddy <laughs> that's a producer Kind of boring humming down the highway here. Nope, doesn't have six gear. It's a good thing it don't have six gear. The speed you could go would probably uh, probably not be good. Because you'd have to try it every once in a while, you know. Alright, well, thanks for taking a really quick ride on the old DR for the first time. And well, I'll post up a date. Yeah, it's been that long. Alright. Talk to y'all here in a little bit. It's funny when I don't ride this thing for a while, the dogs don't recognize it, so they don't all come piling out. Come down here and hardly they all come out. <laughs> Hot dang! That was nice to get out and go for a ride. Thank you, Mother Nature, for all the wind. Because that wasn't happening today. No. I was going down the road when I started out down the highway, down way down by the bus garage there. And it started sprinkling on me. And there was like nothing up there. It was just sprinkling. It's one of those edge of the cloud somewhere. Yeah, blowing in from somewhere. Yeah, and I could see off in the west where when I was going by all the fields back there, you could see where it was raining again. Probably about the same spot down the hill. Awesome. That's all right. The rest of it was completely dry. That's good. But that was fun. Man, that whole DR. It's been so long since I rode the thing. Sasha and Annie... Are afraid of it. None of the dogs came out. I know it. That's sad. When you don't ride something long enough, the dogs forgot what it even sounds like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, on that, we're going to bounce. All righty. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give a thumbs up. And you guys have an amazing Monday or Tuesday. Heck yeah. Back to the old grind. Yep. Yeah, back Hopefully, it don't there. snow too much in the morning. I know it. I'm done with the cold. <laughs> yeah. I do not want to be cold anymore. It's that time of year, it can still sneak up. Yep. All right. See you tomorrow. See you then. Thanks, Nell. Bye. Bye-bye.